Hey guys, Burgonator here, and today I'll be trying out the Vilkas. It's a 10-3 German or Lithuanian light tank armed with a 30mm Bushmaster and 4 Spike ATGMs. However, the spikes you cannot rely on. I've had multiple instances where I've hit targets with ERA and the spikes tandem charge just does nothing. It's supposed to be able to defeat ERA, but in theory it does, but in practicality it does not. It's a nice fast and nimble vehicle, you can zip around. Another big pro is you have a crewless turret, so if you can get hull down, you must just watch out for HE. It's a nice little vehicle to annoy the enemy team, but other than that, I would definitely suggest you have a line up to fill and support this vehicle. This is just to support your team. The Spike ATGMs is definitely nice to take down some helicopters and you also have a lead indicator on your gun. So that makes it nice for supporting against low flying helicopters etc. The dart is nice so if you can push to get to the dart and then if you can flank and get some side shots off it definitely is a nice vehicle. Unfortunately the post pen damage on these darts is not amazing so it will probably take a couple of shots to knock a vehicle out. But I'll play a couple of matches and then you can make up your own mind. It's a nice vehicle, is the game changer? Definitely not. Well, let's go. Right off the bat we have a urban match which is not ideal for my playstyle but let's see if we can get a flank Super in and oh, how that Driver works ready. out. Expect the enemy to be over yonder, and I'm not expecting us to live very long, to be honest with you. Two seconds later. Yeah, that went as expected. We have the exact same map. Minus snow and the cap point shifted. So let's see if this is going to be any better. I must say I do not like what they did with this map. I prefer the previous version. But also I kind of sound like in my days things were better. Like allergic to change. But that's just my opinion. I did not like what they did to the changes to this map. So let's see if we can do better. This time. Well, these fellows are getting all the love they deserve. Yes. Let the hate flow. Another. Let's see if we can get some. Cannot get a lock on him. Got some love. Spikes are pretty good at taking down helicopters, I've found. If we see a target of opportunity, we'll definitely try and engage. Unfortunately, I need a lot more to be able to lock the spikes. That is unfortunate. Crew. 
me now. Yes. The spike killed someone. Go, go, catch it, spike. Oh. Not sure where that was from. Quite surprised the spike actually got that kill. I think it was a 2S38. But let's see if we can get this type 16, I think. It's busy shooting us from the side. Yes. Spike. Okay, this is at least more eventful than the first match. That went absolutely horrible. There is helicopters. Let's see if I can do something about that. I don't have the biggest range on these spikes, but let's see. Two out, one on each heli. Not too optimistic because it is quite far and these are quite slow and I do have a limited guidance time. But let us see. Oh. Defilade. Attention to the designated grid zone. I bet you can't track the spikes like with heavy munitions or aircraft munitions. Let's see. Oh, crit? Tail? Is that enough? Is it enough? Ah, not early. At least you do have the lead indicator on aircraft. That does really help. We've got another urban ish map. So let's see. I'm gonna maybe see if I can push until like this two line, but I might get sniped, so let's see. Kill assist. Not the worst start. Where are you, helicopter? Spike! Thank you! Spike actually saved me. Just 
no, 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 no. If that kills him, I will be very impressed. I am very impressed. I think it's a Bradley or something trying to top down me. <laughs> okay. Not a bad run. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Go, go, Spike! Nice. Oh! <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> that was not a bad match. Even though I did die at the end from being... ...overly excited. <coughs> Dumb. But yeah, not a bad match. Ah, Vietnam. I have a perfect strategy for Vietnam. We don't do Vietnam. Sun City. I'm gonna go left on that hill and see if I can get some spikes off. Well, just peeking my turret. It's camouflage, gorgeous. Oh wow, he sneaked fast. He is fast. That's a big hit though, but he's not out of commission. He's tracked, he's not going anywhere, and that's an assist. I'll take it. Let's clean up some brush. Never mind. We've got two spikes left. Push up with this level two.
aggression to carry just here. Oh, at least I got the kill. I'll take it. Into your vehicle. Not a fan of this map, but I'm gonna see if I can like spawn this side and go around the fountain and see if I can get to a place where I can support the team. Give it a few seconds, see if someone flanks around here. The light forces have captured a zone. Slow climbing this hill. Oh, snap, someone's here.
that scissor, I will definitely take that. enough to like stop the game but just enough to get myself killed like when flying I'll rip my wings in a nose dive or something like that Or something that has a tandem charge that did nothing. Another hit, nothing. Yeah, these spikes, you cannot rely on them. Iberian Castle. I have no strategy or no plan. Let's see what happens. I love this camouflage team. Reminds me a lot of like the Soldier 2000 camouflage, the South African National Defense Forces.
could break. Or you know. Okay guys, I've played a couple of matches and I do like the Vilkas, but it is frustrating. You struggle to lock vehicles if they are slightly hull down. Your spike is unreliable. Even though it has a tandem charge, it does very little if a target has ERA. I've hit multiple T-Series tanks that has ERA. Even in the one video, I hit it twice top down and it just did nothing. So that is quite frustrating. The gun has a slow rate of fire, but the darts is nice. However, the post pain damage is not amazing. The vehicle has nice speed. The spikes is very good against low flying helicopters and you have your lead indicator on your gun. So all in all, this is a nice support vehicle for your team. Don't expect to do amazing in this or <laughs> this is not a nuke vehicle in my opinion. But definitely something unique, something nice, and it will be nice to see more vehicles like this, but I do feel like the spike needs to be reworked. Um, unfortunately, the spike also can't be launched at targets that is close by, so this is a medium to long range uh, weapon, but also it's quite a slow weapon. But your crewless turret is nice to take out enemies if you can get into a defilade or behind a hill. And you have nice 10 degrees of gun depression. All in all, a nice little vehicle. I'm glad I grinded for it. Um, should you buy this on the marketplace? I don't know. That's for you to decide. If you want the light vehicle to fill up your lineup, by all means. But don't expect this to do miracles. It's fun, it's zippy, but it's not going to change the battle. Well, that's my 10 cents, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Burgenator, out.